All right, guys, it's uh, 9.30 almost. Been at it for like 11 hours. Got back today from the tour, from the Gaines Tour V2. Landed at like 7 a.m. Came straight into the office to get things going and done again. I'm gonna go into the gym now that we're done for the day. Uh, get in there, probably just get some blood moving, get things going a little bit, get a light training session in. Um, you know, fresh off the tour again. I just want to get some blood moving and get in there and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to get ready for the gym now. You guys can see what I kind of do to get ready and then we'll head in. All right, so I'm getting ready for the gym. This is about one hour before the gym, maybe 45 minutes. And this is what I do every day. Right now it's 9.30 at night, but normally I'm doing this at 7 a.m., 6.30 a.m. So I'll take the M6, the NR, and the T5 all at this time. The M6 is going to get that metabolism going, shut down fatty acid storage, and help send the carbs I'm about to eat into my muscles. The NR gets that NAD level going, which fires up the mitochondria, and again, helps you produce energy faster, helps with the mental focus, uh, the mind-muscle connection, and everything like that. It makes your workouts way better. The T5 has five ingredients in it, all for natural testosterone production. It gives me a lot of strength. When people see me, they're like, damn, you're pretty strong for your weight. I attribute a lot of that to T5 and consistent weight training together. It makes a huge difference. I'm gonna take all those right now. Then you'll see me in a little bit. We'll talk a little more about it, but the P3, I take before I even leave for the gym. That's our performance training product. Gives you the pump, the endurance, the energy. And then I stack machine fuel from my buddy Mark Lowliner's company and C2. So this is BCAAs and then just pure creature that I drink during my training. Let's get it in. Two an hour. Five T5. And two M6. My mom was always worried about me getting on pills. And she was right to be worried. Alright, so I've taken my pre-workout stack, the T5, the NR, the M6. Now it's on to the nutrients, the food that I'm going to eat before I train. We're at about 45 minutes before the workout right now. I don't typically eat too much closer to the workout than this because I want to give the food a little time to digest or too much farther than this because I don't want to get hungry during the workout because there's nothing that makes me want to stop a workout more than just being hungry. Like I just want to eat. So I need to eat a little bit closer to the workout but not too close. This is a perfect time for me. So Pro Zero, one scoop, done, 12 ounces of water. 350 milliliters for you Australians. Just shake it up with water, that's it. Now you see, you've probably already seen by now my uh, my uh, Hulk Zero uh, smoothie, uh, which is where I blend it with the, spit, with the kale and the ice and the banana. I might do that sometimes too, but today I'm just gonna do it in water just for simplicity. I like it just like that plain too. Then I get my cereal, that's what I'm doing today. So I'll take the cereal and I'll, I'll weigh out however much I want. So for today it's 56 grams. I use the scale because I'm here and I have one, so why not? I put it in a bowl and then I'll pour the Pro Zero on it. Just like milk. So it'll be like milk and cereal, but it's Pro Zero milk. But there's no milk in it. A lot of people ask why I weigh stuff. And you know what, I could probably eyeball it pretty close. And if I'm on the road, I do exactly that. But if I'm here and I have a scale, why not? Why not be accurate? If it doesn't take any extra time or effort, It'll probably take me even more time to try and eyeball it. It's like, look, you guys just saw me do it, I'm done. So, that's the cereal. And I'm gonna pour the Pro Zero right on it. Just like milk. Drink a little extra. That shit. That's it. All right, so just got changed up. 
about to get dressed here, I put my shoes on. I always wear high top Converse for training quads, specifically when I squat. Uh, I do like squat shoes as well, but I travel a shitload as you guys know. I'm always on the road and those things weigh like three, four pounds, the pair, so I don't feel like lugging them around. These are super light, compact. I mean, I can fold them onto each other like this, so it's easy. So this is what I always wear, and I don't wanna wear something one time at home that I can't wear on the road because I train on the road almost as often as I train at home. So this is what I wear to the gym. The other thing I get a lot of questions about is the pants. They're like, bro, what the fuck are those khakis that you're wearing? And uh, I wear these, I call them my, my business leg training pants because they look like khakis, but they're actually not. They're a special material that gives really well on all sides. So you can train legs in them. You can train anything in them or you can just chill in them too. That's the other thing I like too. A lot of times, I'll just only have time to change my shirt and rock out and go, you know, to have a, a meeting for lunch or a lot of times right when I finish training we have our team meeting at HPN headquarters or whatever and I won't get a shower for a couple hours. So for me to be able to rock out in these and then just move on right out to the gym and feel like I'm a little bit put together is pretty cool too. So that's it right there. I'm going to get my pre-workout ready now. Last step before I go train, make my pre-workout. We're about 20 minutes, 15 minutes pre-workout right now. I have the P3 before we even leave. Then I do the machine fuel BCAAs and the Crea Pure Creatine mix up for during my workout. So the P3, I do it with about 12 ounces of water with one fat scoop. Just like that. Just do a big boy scoop because I'm trying to be a big boy. I leave my seal on because it looks nice. I do the machine fuel. I take two scoops of this, mix in a full shaker of water. I might even add more water during the workout. But this is just to get the branch chain amino acids that your body needs during your training. Because otherwise all your muscles will fall off immediately in one more go. It's crazy. teaspoon of the cream up here. We're good to go. Use my sexy Yamora shaker. People who know me know that I'm actually not a big fan of artificial color. You'll be glad to know that is a natural beetroot in the machine fuel. Shout out Mark Lowbrainer. So, this bad boy right here is gonna go in my backpack, in my Darth Vader backpack for during the workout. I'll sip on it throughout the training. You'll see me drinking that. And then this right here, I'm gonna take down before we leave, finish it up. That way, give the Crea Pure, the Beta Alanine, the, uh, the Tarot Pure, the Sun BCA, all a little bit of time to get in my system. It will take my training quality up and give me more endurance, help buffer like that lactic acid, and keep my energy levels smooth and sustained throughout the training session. So we're heading over to the gym right now. Um, be there in about five minutes or so. Finishing up the last of my P3. I decided to call an audible. We were gonna go in and just, you know, mush it. But instead we're gonna go in there and we're gonna crush it. TM Doug Miller. We're gonna uh, train legs. We're gonna go in and do a leg session. There's no better way to get over a jet lag than to just absolutely destroy your body in every way, shape, and form with a really badass leg workout. So we'll start with squats, do a bunch of sets there, and then see how we feel uh, and what we want to do after that. It's about 10.30 right now. Probably going to take us about an hour, hour and a half. We'll get it in quickly, but it will be intense. So we'll head over there right now.
plates like this, like all different shapes and sizes and sometimes colors. I tell them I, I don't discriminate. Like, I don't give a fuck what, what size or color or shape it is. All the weights need love. Whatever's nearby is what I'm gonna use. All right guys, we just finished up a two hour leg training session. It's well after midnight, it's probably close to one now. We got it in though. I came in with the intentions of just getting some blood moving or whatever, but we didn't do that. We actually straight up crushed it. So it was a, it was a, it was a sick workout. Uh, I know you guys are gonna enjoy watching this shit. I'll put down everything that we did, like sets and reps below, so you can do it, incorporate whatever you like from it in your own workout. But the point is that we got in here, we move heavy ass weights, we push ourselves near failure every set, we don't fuck around, we get the job done. Thanks for checking out guys.